Cisco Gold Royalties is a Quebec-based company, and I'm joined by the Vice President of Investor Relations, Vincent Metcalf. Vincent, great to have you here. Thank you very much for having me. Well, we're on day two of the Sprott Natural Resources a Symposium here in Vancouver. I want to get a better idea of the business model of this company. So can you enlighten the viewers? Absolutely. So Cisco Gold Royalties is a relatively new royalty company, but we've been in the business, um, in, in the mining business since 2003 uh, with our original company that we created. Uh, that company was sold in 20, 2014. Uh, and since then, we created Cisco Gold Royalties, now the fourth largest uh, royalty and streaming company uh, in the world and mostly focused in Canada and North America. And I'm sure many would be curious to learn about your asset portfolio. So could you shed light on some of them? Yeah, no, absolutely. So we started the business, you know, four years ago with about five assets. We now have about 131 assets. 20 of those assets are, are um, uh, essentially cash flowing, uh, mostly, as I said, in Canada and North America. And that's one of the great uh, advantages of the company is that like, low jurisdictional um, I guess risk uh, from from the geopolitical risk profile, um, and essentially also uh, a tremendous amount of growth uh, already ingrained in that in that portfolio. And those are a lot of uh, assets as well. So I want to learn more about your management team. Could you tell us what sort of expertise they bring to the company? Yeah, well, that's what makes uh, you know Cisco different from some of our peers. We came from a background of essentially uh, exploring, developing, and building a mine, and um, you know that brought obviously a lot of different experience to the group. Uh, and we have a bit of a different um, way of seeing the business. We like to take long-term, um, you know, smaller bets on the long-term front through what we call our accelerator model. So that's where we defer a bit versus our other peers. We're not just focused on you know, near term and in production assets. We're actually looking to grow um, you know, our business through what we call the accelerator model, which is taking um, you know, small bets into um, you know, maybe riskier assets in a way, but because of our expertise, we're able to um, bring that type of um, you know, supervision to certain uh, programs that we invest in because of the background that we came through. We're not, we're not just a royalty company. We actually provide a lot of technical oversight, um, both you know, on, on the technical side, but also on the financial front. So we've been there before, and that's what we kind of offer to our, uh, to our uh, I guess, our partners. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a good distinction to make when uh, taking a look at your company. Now, I do want to hone in on a recent announcement you had, and that is uh, the acquiring of the Silver Stream from Falco Resources. Can you tell our viewers about that? Yeah, absolutely. So that's one of the good ones uh, because it, cr it was created through the accelerator model that I just discussed. Um, and now we've actually materialized that into a real uh, Silver Stream. So um, the great thing about that one, it's it's Quebec-based. It's uh, right next to the um, the mine that we built uh, 10 years ago and sold in 2014. The Canadian Malartic Mine is about 60 kilometers away. Um, so it's right in our wheel house. Uh, but the great thing about that asset is a 15 year mine life. Uh, and we're helping that project move along uh, the development curve, um, you know, and hopefully see that asset in production by 2022, 2023. And last but not least, uh, you talked about the future. So what is the uh, growth pipeline going forward? So the growth, so we have, you know, we've got 20 cash flowing assets, only about Five of those are actually pretty stable, so we have a tremendous amount of growth in you know in, in our in our portfolio. And on top of that, we have another you know uh, twenty assets that are reaching that development point. Okay, Vincent. Well, thank you so much for joining me at the Sprott Natural Resources Symposium. Thank you very much.